Welcome to day 22 of reading the Bible together. That puts us at Exodus chapters 13 through 15. Thank you for being here to read it with me. Let me pull it up on the screen and we can read along together. Just a second. All right, Exodus chapter 13. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Sanctify to me all the firstborn, whatever opens the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and of animal. It is mine. Moses said to the people, Remember this day in which you came out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, for by strength of hand Yahweh brought you out from this place. No leavened bread shall be eaten. Today you go out in the month of Abib, it shall be when Yahweh brings you into the land of the Canaanite and the Hittite and the Amorite and the Hivite and the Jebusite, which he swore to your fathers to give you, a land flowing with milk and honey, that you shall keep this service in this month. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread, and in the seventh day shall be a feast to Yahweh. Unleavened bread shall be eaten throughout the seven days, and no leavened bread shall be seen with you. No yeast shall be seen with you within all your borders. You shall tell your son in that day, saying, It is because of that which Yahweh did for me when I came out of Egypt. It shall be a sign to you on your hand and for a memorial between your eyes that Yahweh's law may be in your mouth. For with a strong hand Yahweh has brought you out of Egypt. You shall therefore keep this ordinance in its season from year to year. It shall be when Yahweh brings you into the land of the Canaanite, as he swore to you and to your fathers, and will give it to you, that you shall set apart to Yahweh all that opens the womb, and every firstborn that comes from an animal which you have. The males shall be Yahweh's. Every firstborn of a donkey you shall redeem with a lamb, and if you will not redeem it, then you shall break its neck. And you shall redeem all the firstborn of man among your sons." It shall be, when your son asks you in time to come, saying, What is this? That you shall tell him, By strength of hand Yahweh brought us out from Egypt, from the house of bondage. When Pharaoh stubbornly refused to let us go, Yahweh killed all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of livestock. Therefore, I sacrifice to Yahweh all that opens the womb, being males, but all the firstborn of my sons I redeem. It shall be for a sign on your hand and for symbols between your eyes, for by strength of hand Yahweh brought us out of Egypt. When Pharaoh had let the people go, God didn't lead them by the way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near. For God said, lest perhaps the people change their minds when they see war, and they return to Egypt. But God led the people around by way of the wilderness by the Red Sea, and the children of Israel went up armed out of the land of Egypt. Moses took the bones of Joseph with him, for he had made the children of Israel swear, saying, God will surely visit you, and you shall carry up my bones away from here with you. They took their journey from Succoth and encamped in Etham in the edge of the wilderness. Yahweh went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them on their way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light that they might go by day and by night. The pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night didn't depart from before the people. Exodus 14 Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, that they turn back and encamp before Pehaharath, between Migdal and the sea, before Baal Zephon. You shall encamp opposite it by the sea. Pharaoh will say of the children of Israel, They are entangled in the land. The wilderness has shut them in. I will harden Pharaoh's heart, and he will follow after them. And I will get honor over Pharaoh and over all his armies, and the Egyptians shall know that I am Yahweh. They did so. The king of Egypt was told that the people had fled, and the heart of Pharaoh and of his servants was changed toward the people. And they said, 
what is this we have done, that we have let Israel go from serving us? He prepared his chariot and took his army with him, and he took six hundred chosen chariots and all the chariots of Egypt with captains over all of them. Yahweh hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and he pursued the children of Israel, for the children of Israel went out with a high hand. The Egyptians pursued them. All the horses and chariots of Pharaoh, his horsemen and his army overtook them, and camping by the sea, beside Pihaharath, before baal Zephon. When Pharaoh came near, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians were marching after them, and they were very afraid. The children of Israel cried out to Yahweh. They said to Moses, Because there were no graves in Egypt, have you taken us away to die in the wilderness? Why have you treated us this way, to bring us out of Egypt? Isn't this the word that we spoke to you in Egypt, saying, Leave us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians? For it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. Moses said to the people, Don't be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of Yahweh, which he will work for you today. For you will never again see the Egyptians whom you have seen today. Yahweh will fight for you, and you shall be still. Yahweh said to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Speak to the children of Israel that they go forward. Lift up your rod and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. Then the children of Israel shall go into the middle of the sea on dry ground. Behold, I myself will harden the hearts of the Egyptians, and they will go in after them. I will get myself honor over Pharaoh, and over all his armies, over his chariots, and over his horsemen. The Egyptians shall know that I am Yahweh, when I have gotten myself honor over Pharaoh, over his chariots, and over his horsemen. The angel of God, who went before the camp of Israel, moved and went behind them. And the pillar of cloud moved from before them and stood behind them. It came between the camp of Egypt and the camp of Israel. There was the cloud and the darkness, yet it gave light by night. One didn't come near the other all night. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and Yahweh caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. The children of Israel went into the middle of the sea, on the dry ground, and the waters were a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. The Egyptians pursued and went in after them into the middle of the sea, all of Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. In the morning watch, Yahweh looked out on the Egyptian army through the pillar of fire and of cloud, and confused the Egyptian army. He took off their chariot wheels, and they drove them heavily, so that the Egyptians said, Let's flee from the face of Israel, for Yahweh fights for them against the Egyptians. Yahweh said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the waters may come again on the Egyptians, on their chariots, and on their horsemen. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to its strength when the morning appeared, and the Egyptians fled against it. Yahweh overthrew the Egyptians in the middle of the sea. The waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen, even all Pharaoh's army that went in after them into the sea. There remained not so much as one of them. But the children of Israel walked on dry land in the middle of the sea, and the waters were a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. Thus Yahweh saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore. Israel saw the great work which Yahweh did to the Egyptians. And the people feared Yahweh. And they believed in Yahweh and in his servant Moses. Then Moses and the children of Israel sang this song to Yahweh and said, I will sing to Yahweh, for he has triumphed gloriously. He has thrown the horse and his rider into the sea. Yah is my strength and song. He has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. 
Yahweh is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. He has cast Pharaoh's chariots and his army into the sea. His chosen captains are sunk in the Red Sea. The deep covers them. They went down into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, Yahweh, is glorious in power. Your right hand, Yahweh, dashes the enemy in pieces. In the greatness of your excellency, you overthrow those who rise up against you. You send out your wrath. It consumes them as stubble. With the blast of your nostrils, the waters were piled up. The floods stood upright as a heap. The deeps were congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the plunder. My, devi- my desire will be satisfied on them. I will draw my sword, my hand will destroy them. You blew with your wind, the sea covered them. They sank like lead in the mighty waters. Who is like you, Yahweh, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? You stretched out your right hand. The earth swallowed them. You and your loving kindness have led the people that you have redeemed. You have guided them in your strength to your holy habitation. The peoples have heard. They tremble. Pangs have taken hold of the inhabitants of Philistia. Then the chiefs of Edom were dismayed. Trembling takes hold of the mighty men of Moab. All the inhabitants of Canaan have melted away. Terror and dread falls on them. By the greatness of your arm, they are as still as a stone. Until your people pass over, Yahweh, until the people you have purchased pass over, you will bring them in and plant them in the mountain of your inheritance, the place, Yahweh, which you have made for yourself to dwell in, the sanctuary, Lord, which your hands have established. Yahweh will reign forever and ever. For the horses of Pharaoh went in with his chariots and with his horsemen into the sea. And Yahweh brought back the waters of the sea on them, but the children of Israel walked on dry land in the middle of the sea. Miriam the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, took a tambourine in her hand, And all the women went out after her with tambourines and with dances. Miriam answered them, Sing to Yahweh, for he has triumphed gloriously. He has thrown the horse and his rider into the sea. Moses led Israel onward from the Red Sea, and they went out into the wilderness of Shur. And they went three days in the wilderness and found no water. When they came to Marah, they couldn't drink from the waters of Marah, for they were bitter. Therefore, its name was called Mara. The people murmured against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? Then he cried to Yahweh. Yahweh showed him a tree, and he threw it into the waters, and the waters were made sweet. There he made a statute and an ordinance for them, and there he tested them. He said, If you will diligently listen to Yahweh, your God's voice, and will do that which is right in his eyes, and will pay attention to his commandments, and keep all his statutes. I will put none of the diseases on you which I have put on the Egyptians, for I am Yahweh who heals you. They came to Elam, where there were twelve springs of water and seventy palm trees. They encamped there by the waters. Thank you for reading with me today. Hope it was a blessing to you. And see you tomorrow on day 23.